Welcome to our lecture online. When we talk about equipotential surfaces, it's a little bit different compared to equipotential lines. A surface engulfs an object that may be charged from which electric field lines emanate. The surface will then enclose that in such a way that the electric field lines will poke perpendicular to the surface everywhere along the surface. So in three dimensions, we can say that a three-dimensional surface on which a potential is constant can be considered an equipotential surface. That's the definition, that anywhere along the surface, the potential remains the same, the voltage remains the same along that surface. So if we have a charged object, and around it we draw an equipotential surface, we can then be guaranteed that everywhere along that surface, in three dimensions, the potential will not change, will be constant along that surface, and everywhere, to, uh, on the surface or through the surface, the electric field lines will poke perpendicular through that surface. So, it is the surface of an enclosed region, and a sphere, of course, is a handy shape, but it doesn't have to be a sphere, on which the potential is constant. That can be considered an equipotential surface. Also, as with a Gaussian surface, because if you imagine the dotted line to be a Gaussian surface enclosing the charge inside, we know that with a Gaussian surface, we draw it in such a way that the electric field is the same everywhere along the surface and it's perpendicular to the surface, which is very similar to what we would consider for an equi equipotential surface, that as with a Gaussian surface, the electric field is perpendicular to the surface everywhere on that surface. And that's a good way to think about an equipotential surface. And there it is.